Okay guys, here's a quick update on my 1985 Pontiac Parisienne. Uh, it's just starting to rain out right now in uh, Vancouver. So basically, the car's been in storage since August and I just put insurance on it. Um, got the windows blacked out. I'm not trying to turn it into a lowrider. I just like the style. I took the uh, the side skirts off on the wheel there, on the wheel wells. Uh, car is running nicely. However, there is still a, uh, you can still hear the muffler banging around underneath the car there. And uh, they're saying that it's actually a heat sensor or a heat riser and that's another $250 part plus labor. Um, I gotta pay to have that put on because I don't know how to do that to myself. So, you know, I just spent $900 in tuning this car up. I uh, had to get a new exhaust pipe for it. Had to get uh, eight new spark plugs. Had to get the timing adjusted. Had to get the idle control adjusted. Um, this car was stalling when I put it in drive and stalling a lot when it was cold or at an intersection. It's not doing that anymore. And uh, the Yoshi Clan actually made a video for me. YouTube user Yoshi Clan. Um, and uh, I was able to, uh, to figure the problem out. I uh, bought a new heat riser for it, new air filter, new air cleaner, and, uh, you know, getting the idle control adjusted and all that. Today's date, October 23rd, 2012, and the car today has 70,220 kilometers on it. All original. Now, uh, this is the Broham model power everything windows locks seats cruise control all the bells and whistles um, and what I like about the interior in this car is not only is there no rips and tears but the seats aren't all worn out um, from the Sun which a lot of these uh, velour or pillow cloth interiors uh, uh, what basically what happens is they all wear out right from the Sun and uh, they're in good shape. Car is dirty because I've been doing uh, general labor during the daytime and getting it a little bit dirty. Uh, got an aftermarket CD deck for it. New tires on the back, new tires on the front. Check the engine. Oh, probably unlock it first. So basically, basically, uh, the car is not stalling anymore, but uh, it does have, still have a bit of a rumble, and uh, the corrosion basically I mean it was all over the pistons and shit so you know it does run nicely now uh, but uh, does still need some work 305 small block V8 let's uh, take this off here Bought a bunch of small things for it, like a fuel filter, an air filter, all new. Make sure you guys uh, change these too. A couple bucks. So yeah, this car is running pretty good. And looks good. 
and uh, basically as for the bad news on this car headliner sagging you can see the headliner sagging in the sunroof up there um, and in the back and uh, that's water damage see all these cracks here in the sunroof around the sunroof around the back um, I bought the car like that and uh, you can see all the silicone that's on the top here it uh, doesn't look very good but uh, it's keeping the water out um, unfortunately some water did still manage to get in and uh, you know how much do you think a new vinyl top costs to be put in this car I'd say more than fifteen hundred dollars even a thousand dollars is a lot of money for me right now after just putting nine hundred bucks into this car and you know fucking insurance and all that crap so this car does still need some work but uh, it is my daily driver and uh, I will keep you guys updated once I get that vinyl top fixed and uh, once I get a better camera to make these videos with and thanks to the Yoshi clan for uh, giving me some making me a video on uh, the 20 or 25 things that uh, could be wrong with the car when it's stalling like that but uh, that's alright we got the problem fixed so there you have it 